What's up my good people out there? Welcome back to the White Family Farmstead. If you didn't subscribe to our channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. You get all the notifications every time we post a new video. Appreciate it. Next project I'm working on, I got the welding machine right there. We're gonna do some uh, hand rails, so let's go. So today's project, we're gonna be working on installing some hand rails on this back step. That way, in case somebody falls, they have something to grab onto. But these are the material I have. We're gonna get that started. So this is a couple of the tools I'll be using today to get the project completed. Yeah, I'll be using these two for the anchors. I weld my posts on here and then drill into the ground and put some anchor bolts to hold the handrail in the ground. So what I'm doing now is cleaning all the ends of the square tubing. That way it will make good contact with the ground, especially when I'm welding. You don't know fires and stuff with the primer on there. All wrong, so when I weld. Okay, next step, what I'm working now is fitting up the square tubing and the plate on the bottom. I know I could probably make a jig and fit it up in there, but I don't have a metal table at home to make a jig. So I have to improvise and use what I have. I'm leveling my poles to the ground and to the plate. So after I get it, I'll be tacking up all my plates, the square tube into the bottom of the plate, leveling it off, and then move to the next step. Okay, so what I did, I level it pretty level. I marked it on the inside here, so I'm gonna cut it right here. So it's gonna fit on the inside here. On both sides, well, all four sides. Marked it here too. So I'm gonna cut it right there and fit it on the inside. And finish tacking it in there. Okay, the next step I'm working on. I took it off and I just cut it with the cutting wheel on my grinder. The angles, I cut it with the grinding wheel. So now I'm putting it back in there, I'm tacking it in place. I do the top one first, and then I'll take off the bottom one and do the bottom one the same way. Use the grinder and cut the angles I need after I marked it. And on to the next one. Okay, so I'm taking out the square tubing from the bottom. I will transfer the marking I made all the way around the tubing. So I'll be able to cut it with the grinder and flip it, cut one side, flip it, cut the other side. So that's what I'm doing now. Then I'll take it off, take the grinder and cut it. And on to the next one, I'll go ahead and fit it back in place and tack it and repeat the step over again. Okay, I went ahead and took it off, laid, placed it on the ground and took my measurements and go ahead and tack the bottom in follow the same steps as I did with the top. I'll tack the bottom in, take measurements, make sure my gaps are even on both sides. I will tack it on the ground, then pick it up, put it on the table, and weld it out. Clean it out, clean all my metal, and then weld it out on the table. Well, if you guys notice, I left the ends of the tubing for the handrails longer reason I did it, I left it longer so I could cut the tubing and use access pieces from the tubing to lay it over to cover the hole on top. I will show you exactly how I did that coming up shortly. What are those? I don't know why I got them flip-flops on my foot. I about to go put on my boots. Them dogs was barking, so I had to go let them off for a little bit. So what I'm doing now is cutting the square tubing and notching it out. So I'll be able to lay over that square tubing to cover the hole. So I'll do a little bit of time, cut. Cut the little side, cut the other side and then get the hammer and I'll pound it flat to cover the hole. I'll show you another video coming up. Just hang tight. 
be here with me now flip it on the other side cut the other side okay so what made me decide to make these handrails i was going to actually pay somebody to do it but they wanted to charge an arm and a leg to make the handrail so i said nope i'll do it myself i end up borrowing a welding machine from one of my good friends hike big shout out thanks again okay so what i did is cut this off here and i'm gonna lay this one over to cover the hole Okay, so this is how it look. I laid it over, covering the hole. So I'm doing the same thing for the top. Cut out a notch. I'm gonna lay this over, covering the hole again. This is how the handrail looking so far. Almost there. Check the top. The top is covered. The other top is covered. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just take the grinder and clean off all the rust. That way when I'm painting, I have good contact. Also, I'm gonna clean where I'll be welding, clean off the area so I make good contact with the welding machine when I'm welding. So you wanna make sure I knock off all the rust. I'll knock off all the rust also for painting also. That way I have good contact especially when I'm welding. Okay, I'm gonna give you another tip. When you're welding, don't just sit there and weld in one spot. You wanna kinda move around. What's the most important thing is even out where you're putting the heat on the other side. That way you don't get the, the metal too hot. Cause when the metal get too hot, it start warping. It will warp the metal, the metal will start taking its own form. So you want to weld a little bit in one spot and then move over to that. That way you'll give the metal a chance to cool down. Yeah, but we stay busy in the homestead though. We always do everything. We do a jack of all trades, master of none. We do a little bit of every, everything uh, in order to save some money too. But I love, I love working. I love doing other projects. Uh, they'll say Rome wasn't built in one day, so we just take our time, do a little bit of time, a project after projects at a time. As I say, it's your homestead, so you have to take care of it. Nobody else is going to take care of it for you. Hoping you guys like the video I put out. If you do, leave me a comment. I say I have a lot of projects to do. I do one at a time and try to take you guys along the way. I was actually very impressed with, with the welding machine. So it encouraged me to go buy my own welding machine. So upcoming videos, you'll see me welding with my own welding machine too. So I said it will come in handy around the homestead. Any little projects I have, I, I could be able to knock it out myself without having to borrow one. Okay, so I'm gonna anchor these in the ground and this, will, and this is what I'm going to use. I'm gonna use these anchor bolts. I want them bought a half inch drill bit. I'm gonna use my Dewalt drill. Okay, another tip I use, I normally drill a little bit and make a starter hole. And then I also use my shop vac to help suck out all the dust from the hole. Get my shop vac, turn it on, and suck up all the dust while I'm drilling. That way I'm getting all the dust, all the concrete dust, out of the hole. And this is a half inch uh, concrete bit I bought. Works every time. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick tip. When you install in the anchor bolts, make sure and screw it flush and that way you don't damage the treads while you're hitting it with the hammer. Put it flush, like this here, and then hit it with the hammer. You're gonna put it in the hole, center it up, take the hammer, and go on. And 
you knock it down. Okay, so right here I'm just using a three quarter socket with a ratchet. You can use an impact, but do not over torque it. Okay, so my next step, after I got it installed now, I'm gonna take it back off, primer it, and then paint it. That's gonna be my next step. I just wanted to fit it up and make sure everything fits okay in the hole. Me hanging it up is a lot easier. I could get all the spots. All I have is minor touch up to do wherever I have the wire but I have access to paint everywhere on the piece. You could try it too. Clean and simple. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.